Hello, we're specialist clinicians working in the MND team based at Lancashire and South Cumbria Care Centre. As part of our patient care, we sometimes recommend home suction machines to help clear the excessive saliva in the mouth. This video is to support those in setting it up and using the machine for the purpose of oral suctioning to clear secretions from the mouth using a vacuum. These machines are also used in deeper secretion suctioning, but this is outside the remit of the video. There are several types of home suction machine manufacturers, so please always read the specific manufacturer's instructions for your type of unit to ensure you use it correctly and how to clean, maintain um, for safety reasons. It is important if you're helping someone to use the suction or if you're doing it for them that you gain their consent where possible and you decide how they stop the procedure at any point. When a brand new suction unit arrives, it needs to be plugged in and to be fully charged before you use it. Most machines have the option to be used on mains, battery, or can even plug into a car via an adapter. So let's have a look at the machine. This is a suction machine. There's lots of different types. There's an on switch on the um, side. There's also a power indicator on the side to see how the battery is or if you're running it on mains. And there's a manometer on the top so you can set the suction pressure. So that's the unit itself. And then it'll come with a chamber and a lid. You just pop one on the other. But it's important you press it down firmly for a good seal and that just slips into the opening. On the top of the canister you'll see it's got some writing so it says to the patient and to the vacuum source so it helps you put it all together. Okay, So we're going to slip that one on there. The next thing to go on is um, a paper filter. This is changed every two weeks. It's really important it doesn't get wet and this just sits on the top there. Again push it down firmly. Then you've got a small bit of wide tubing which just goes from the machine onto the top. I didn't say but um, it's important to consider if you want to wear gloves um, or a face protection at all or, or pennies. So that's in situ there and then we're just going to get the long tubing and attach it here and that just says to the patient if you're wondering where to go. If you are carrying the canister, you can actually put a little lid on top to make sure that the, um, the secretions are secure in the canister. I'll move that for now. And then on the end, we're just going to use Yanka, similar to what you see the dentists use. It's just a hard tube with some holes at the, at the back. So that's it set up, ready to go. Now the main thing that can vary is the suction pressure, so you need to have that determined by clinicians, so just be led by them. To set it is going to be quite noisy, what we're going to do is take off the yanker, we're going to block the tubing and then obviously switch it on and then we're going to turn the manometer until the dial gives us the pressure that we want. Some of the machines do jump around a little bit so you're looking for a good average, so you're just going to block off the tube check the pressure and you want it to grip your glove quite nicely but be able to release it. Uh, it's important that you always use the least amount of pressure that you need and that just limits the um, any trauma of the mouth. So I'm going to set it up now. Okay. So I'll put that. So we'll switch that one off. The other thing that sometimes we supply are toothbrushes as well, which are quite handy. They've got um, a suction hole through them, so when you're brushing their teeth, it just takes away any excess froth or saliva, so they sometimes use those. And again, they just go straight in the end. So to suction, you're going to introduce the yanker to the side of the mouth and then sweep the yanker over the tongue, but no deeper than the back of the teeth. Try and look into the mouth wherever possible during the procedure to make sure that the the yanker is in the correct place and to help avoid damage to your mouth. Keep the yanker moving slowly around the mouth at all times and then remove it. Look into the mouth and see if it's clear, then repeat the procedure as required. Making sure there's adequate breaks in between suctions and that your patient is comfortable. So once you've used the yanker, it's important that you clear out the tubing. So as soon as you've used it, you just get a glass of water, obviously with the machine on, just pop it in and out of the water and that just rinses any debris down the tubing and keeps that nice and clear. It's, this isn't sterile because it's just going in your mouth, similar to how a toothbrush would, so a rinse is fine. But obviously if it gets very dirty, then, then just, change the, um, just change the tube. So to clean out the whole thing, it's important that it's cleaned out every day. So I'm going to remove the anchor 
remove the tubing. These can be wiped down with a, a damp cloth, but you wouldn't um, submerge them in water. And then you're just going to disconnect the tubing to the vacuum. Take off that filter. It's really important, say it's paper, it, doesn't, it can't get wet, so just pop that on the side. And then just lift out this. So the secretions will be kept in there. Again, place the cap, carry it to wherever you want to dispose of it, dispose of the secretions, and then just open up the canister. And you'd wash it up, as I say, with hot soapy water, not boiling, um, or you can use the vinegar solution, So, and then let it air dry. Popping it back together is just the reverse, so lid back on, slot it back in there, the nice clean dry filter at the top, back to the vacuum. And the tubing back on. With all the cleaning and the instructions, please have a look at your um, specific manufacturer's details. And as I say, suction pressure is always the least that you need to prevent trauma and always be guided by a clinician. Um, so that's the end of the demonstration. Um, if there is ever any evidence that you have bleeding or sore gums, then use the suction with caution. If your secretions change in terms of thickness, colour or volume, then please talk to your GP. It's normally very safe, but if you experience any gagging, vomiting, distress or increased breathing rate or difficulty in breathing, then stop the procedure and seek medical advice. hope you found it helpful. Thank you.